morning everyone. Today me and my teammates of class 7th A of AK Viragui are going to explain you the chapter Transportation in Animal and Plant. Before starting the chapter, let me explain you what is transportation. Transportation means carry of substance from one part of the body to another part. For example, gas, food and etc. etc. Now let me tell you the topics we are going to discuss. We are going to discuss circulatory system, blood, blood vessel, heart and heart rate. But let's start with the circulatory system. Circulatory system. In circulatory system, we learn about them. So, have you ever noticed that whenever you feel cut, whenever you have cut on your body, something red curly thing flows out. Right now, what is that? That is known as blood. Blood is a fluid which flows in blood vessels. It transports small substances like digestive food from small intestine to all parts of the body. It also carries oxygen from the lungs to the cell of the body. Now, question says that how blood ca carries various substances. Blood is a composed of a fluid called plasma in which different types of cells are present. One of them is RBC, known as red blood cell, in which red pigment is present called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin links with oxygen and transport it to all parts of the body. The presence of hemoglobin makes the blood appear red. The blood also has WBC known as white blood cell, which fights against the germs which may enter our body. Okay. Now have you ever noticed that whenever bleeding can stop, a dark red blood is plugged in the cut. Now how it is formed? It is formed because of the presence of another type of cell in the blood called plaque. As you have already learned about blood, so now let's discuss about blood vessels in today. So what is that? It is pulse. Okay. The, these are known as pulse and it is due to the blood flowing in arteries. Can you count how much pulse beats are there? In a minute. Yes, in a minute. This is 72. Yes, it is a 72. Of a resting person. Ugh. Now our arrow will tell you about the heart. So this is the heart. These are the upper two chambers of the heart known as atrium. And these are the lower two chambers of the heart known as ventricles. Firstly, the carbon dioxide rich blood enters the right atrium. Then the blood enters the right ventricle. Then from that the blood enters to the lungs where the blood is purified. Then it enters to the left atrium. And then the blood enters to the left ventricle and then it enters to the body. Now let me explain you about excretion system. Now what is excretion? The waste produced in our body is harmful. So it has to be removed here and this can be done with the help of excretion which involves following parts. Kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, urethra and urinary opening. Now these two are kidneys. When the blood reaches these two kidneys, it goes to the urinary bladder through these pipes called ureter. When it is stored in urinary bladder, it rapidly goes to the urinary opening through urethra. Now, let me explain you about diuretic also. Sometimes a person's kidneys may stop working due to infection or injury as a result of kidney failure. Such persons cannot survive unless their blood gets filtered through artificial kidney, and this is called a dialysis. Now let me tell you about the discovery of circulation of blood. An English physician named William Harvey discovered the circulation of blood. According to him, in those days, the blood passed through the blood vessels. He was also known as a circulator. He lost all of his patients, but before he died, his idea of the circulation of blood was considered as a biological fact. Now, my friend Karan will tell you about transportation of plants. Hi, my name is Karan. Let me explain to the part transportation in the plants. What does it mean? The plants take nutrients and water from the soil by the help of their roots and transport them to the different parts of the plant. This is called transporting plants. There are two types of parts in the plants that help in transportation. First is xylem and second is phloem. The vascular tissue that transport nutrients along with the water is called xylem and the vascular tissue that transport food to the different parts of the plant is called phloem. Now let's move to the another part, transpiration. In class 6 you learn that plants release a lot of water by the process of transpiration. The plants take minerals, nutrients and water from the soil. Not all the absorbed water is utilized by the plants. The water evaporates through the stomata present on the surface of the leaves. Uh, this evaporation of the, uh, through the uh, process of transpiration. This uh, generates a suction pulse from the leaf that helps in uh, coming water to the great heights in tall trees. 
Transpiration also cools the uh, plants. Now that we tell you about the summary of this chapter, transportation in animals and plants. So firstly, we learned about what is blood, which is a fluid which flows in a blood vessels. Then we learned about the components of blood, which is a fluid which flows in a body, which is plasma. Then we learned about blood cells, which are red blood cells and white blood cells. Then we learned about veins and capillaries, which are the different kinds of blood vessels. Then we learned about what is heart, what is heartbeat, what is excretory system, the excretory parts in the human body. Then we learned about transportation in plants through xylem and phloem. And then finally, we learned about transpiration of organisms in plants. Thank you. Now I hope that you all have been understand this chapter. Thank you.